Alright guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So before I begin this video, I actually have something to talk slash pose, alright? So, as you guys know, today is uh, Sunday, and that means that we're using Shadal Yubel. But is Shadal Yubel really Shadal and Yubel? I mean, really, it's kind of just a Shadal deck with Yubel splashed in there getting in the way. I mean, we've, we've had a couple of these decks here on Vitamin Y where it's just like, Hey, it's this deck with Yubel in it! Do you like the proposal? You know, <laughs> like that's what I'm, I'm pitching. You know, like, like literally, I, I, I take a hat. I like, take a hat. All right, all right, stay with me. I take a hat and I put a propeller on it, and now it's a whole new invention. You know, so uh, I was actually just sitting here thinking before I actually started the video that this hand was shitty. Uh, that you know, I, I kind of feel like maybe Shadali Bell isn't really what we want to be on here. What the fuck is this? Okay. Uh, here on Vitamin Y, right? So, let me, hear me out, hear me out, because, you know, there might be some of you who are just like, oh, yeah, you know, all right, thank you, thank you. I only ran one of these of each of them, so thank you for that. You know, I want you guys to hear me out here, because I know you probably are going to be like, well, no, no, Daniel, keep on here, but hear me out. What I was thinking about is that since, the, you know, the train decks, trains are on Friday, I was thinking that trains, of course, they uh, they're they're a single deck, you know. I do all by myself. But the only thing that makes that deck its own single, like you know, by myself, not a tight party deck, is the fact that I run vanities and skill drain. So if I were to just take out vanities and skill drains, that deck could be a tag deck, right? If I took the trains and moved them to a different day, that would free up a single spot for you know another single day, another better deck. I I knew you were gonna blind space me. That's why I set more than one. I knew that was MST. I was like, I'm going to say more than one because I would really like the Sinister Shadow games to go off. So, um, I could, you know, I could have just set one Sinister Shadow games. But I decided, like, no, 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 no. I'm going to send multiple. Multiple. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send Squamata. And then I'm going to go ahead and send uh, Falco. And then Falco is going to go ahead and come back. No. Yeah. Also, another reason why I wanted to kind of keep it on here is because I thought maybe the deck could get hit. So I was kind of like, oh, the deck's going to get hit. So, you know, we don't have to worry about it still being on here for long. But, it, you know, besides Super Poly. But I, I don't run Super Poly in here anyway. I didn't. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> so that doesn't phase me at all. Anyway, here we are here. Because this, this is a proposal I'm thinking of. It's very convoluted. But, you know, it wouldn't be the first time that I've done convoluted shit on my channel, right? I'm going to flip some that. You know, it wouldn't be the first time. So, like I said, we can simply move trains to tag that. And of course, we move trains to tag that. It means one of the tag decks would have to get taken off. You know, whether it be Heraldix, uh, Kakimura, or the Hunnery Man. One of them would have to go. Correct. That's just fine. It's fine. Then we move train to the tag deck, leaving Friday open for... Um, why did you lose 900? Okay, that was weird. I was about to say, I didn't even do anything, so you shouldn't even be losing 900. I'm actually going to tribute set. Go ahead and take uh, my 600. It ain't much, but you will take it. Anyway, then we have a, free, a spot free on Fridays, right? Fr Fridays would be free for daily duels. All right, hear me out. We already have, we have Teller Knights on Tuesday, right? Klee Put on Wednesday. Burning Abyss on Thursday. And what could be on Friday? Shadals, right? Right? Am I right? Shadals on Friday. Am I correct? On this, on this. Correct, right? If we have Shadals on Friday, we'd have all the meta decks sitting right there, all in a row. All the duckies aligned right there on, uh... On Daily Duels, not as tag decks, but as, you know, the meta. It would be like the meta times of Daily Duels, right? And of course, that would, uh... Can you please stop? Stop. 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 Pl please stop. Please stop. You're slowing down the game. Like, I couldn't even flip some of my beats because the game was trying to control you fucking shuffling and playing with yourself. Alright, effect. You know... Uh, so that, you know, how does that sound? How does that sound? You know, because there's, there's, there's things I want to try. 
There's things that I want to try with this deck, Shadows, being this deck, Shadows. You know, I want to, of course, you know, make it maybe the meta version, meta version possible. Experiment, of course, you know, uh, artifact Shadows dead. Then maybe let me see how powerful this whole, uh, you know, baby chaos dragon uh, Shadow deck is. Uh, you know, I I want to try out something, and experiment with something. So, um, of course, you guys know that. Um, what the fuck is that? Okay. What I want to try and experiment with is that. Um, uh, you guys know that Shadows are getting an equip fusion card, Nef Shadow fusion, right? What I was thinking. Once again, I don't know why you lost nine hundred. It's only six hundred, but. Okay. Anyway, let me let me let me finish talking. I'm thinking about going for Arcanite. Should I go for Arcanite? Arcanite might not be terrible. I could just blow up his last two cards. But so far it doesn't seem like he's doing anything. That's the problem. This duel is really boring. Like really boring. Like my uh, my opponent has done like nothing the entire duel. Nothing. Go ahead. Maybe I'll see something. Uh, so, Nefshadal Fusion is the equipped spell card, right? I talked about this before. And about Slash Steel. And about how not only do you have... Um, uh, uh, so, you're in Tribute that Go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, so that's apparently what deck you're using? It's fine, I'll take 24. Activate Call the Haunted, it's okay. I'm gonna activate Call the Haunted, bring back Falco, and sink right into a Black Rose on his ass, because. Fuck my opponent. Duh! Sink. I know I got a black rose in here. Not bad. Yeah, right. Effect. Wow, they're just Galaxy Queen's lights. Like, is that supposed to be, it's supposed to be an XC deck? It sure seems like an XC based deck. This, and I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, this card's bad. Increase your life points by 800 for, to neg yourself. Sounds like an awesome plan to me. Sounds like an awesome fucking plan to me. No. Back. And some new back. So, uh, no, shit off fusion. No, it's clips. So, what I was thinking about doing with, um, with, uh, da -da 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 -da, with Nash, uh, also, you know, Snatch Tail. As I'm uh, running some of the cards that can start Snatch Deal and break the hell out of Snatch Deal while also having synergy with Snuff Shadow Fusion. So just like what I'm playing on doing with Kui Put, running, you know, you know, uh, you know, there's two different cards right now that are, you know, going up in favor. One is better than the other in the decks, respectively. So, um, uh... Swords at Dawn is better for Klee Put because, you know, it's a quick play spell. You can't special summon, but they generally like a normal summon. But they also special summon, but it's a quick play spell, so you can just do it during your opponent's turn. Uh, but, um, you can go ahead just during your opponent's turn. Or, it says, you, you can't special summon the rest of the turn. So all you have to do is just go ahead and special summon all you want. So go ahead, Pendulum Summon, special summon all you want. Then play it. Take your opponent's monster. So, there you go. But, uh, you know, it's a quick play spell, so, you know, if you don't have Snatch Stone, you know, you can just go ahead and go activate it, equip your, uh, your, um, Sacrifice, you know, your monster can be destroyed during the phase, Sacrifice will get destroyed because the swords are done, go ahead and get your sword shot, you know. The card that's, uh, better for Shadals, on the other hand, is actually, um, uh, Hidden Armory. Of course, Hidden Armory, uh, you cannot normal summon at this turn, which is fine because it's that predominantly special summons, correct? Yeah. But, uh, you mill the top card of your deck and you get a, uh, cook spell card from your, uh, uh, Hander, uh, Hander Graveyard. I mean, Hander Graveyard, Decker Graveyard. So you can search for Snatch Deal, but you can also search for your Napshadal Fusion, which would speed up the deck and increase its consistency because you're searching for your fusion faster than, you know, uh, Hedgehog Flipping. So how come that sounds like some kind of analogy? 
a rocket search faster than a hedgehog can flip itself. Yeah. I'm like, no. But, uh, you know, so I was thinking about doing something with that, you know? So I'm not having, because on here, like, li like, literally, like, literally, what is, uh, what is, uh, this deck right now? What am I doing? Absolutely nothing. What is Ubel doing in here? Absolutely nothing. What has Ubel done for this deck? Really? Not much. I really, I, I can't say absolutely nothing, but I can definitely say not much. What does it say? I don't know to build because I'm trying to zero. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I guess I'll drop Dragon and I guess you'll drop to zero then, I guess. You're down to zero. Oops, summon. Fact. Is that just when you battle an XC monster or just period? Just some monster, period. Oh, it's just battles monster, period. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, what is it? Special summon monster? What is it? Is it XC monster? What, what kind of monster? It's just monster, period. Like, oh. Okay, then I guess I'll just go ahead and make a castell and spin you back. I mean, why not, right? So, uh, so that would of course mean that, you know, uh, just like, you know, burning Abyss Yvelle, which once again was another deck that didn't really need Yvelle and was dumb, kind of like this one, uh, this deck would also be leaving by my way. So, you know, we'll be replacing this deck. I do not know why. Uh, are you dyslexic? That's clearly a six, but you keep typing in nine. Whatever. Whatever. Like I said, if you're dyslexic, then good on you. you know, no shame in your game, but seriously. Like, hello? Like, you, you keep typing in nine, but it's clearly not nine. Uh, I'm gonna chain. Uh, effect. Alright. So, I wish I, I mean, this is an inherent summon, so I couldn't even see it coming. So, he still gets his special summon, because this has to be on the field to resolve that effect. So, this was after he special summoned. But I was feeling that he probably wants to go, like, you know, like, summon, like, his Galaxy Knight, and then Knight summon back, whatever. Well, he can't summon... Who the fuck is that? I didn't get to see who that was, but... Alright. <laughs> like, hello? Summon effect. I'll go ahead and draw two. Oh, two fusions. All right, awesome. Uh, uh who do I want to pitch? Well, I want to pitch. I'll pitch a fusion because I don't need multiple fusions to tell you the truth. Not really. <laughs> it's not really. Hmm. Hmm. I have a feeling I want to use flip summon. No effect. Cause I want to have fun. We'll go for uh, Niki Naga because she has a big old booty and nice attack too. So Niki Naga will handle whoever that is. Like when it's flipped, I can he gets to search or something. Good you game probably like what you Galaxy Monster in your graveyard. So how many is that? All right, one, two. All right, again a thousand. This card is just joins into a different place up. You can spend some more. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fine. So what I was thinking about, and hear me out here, hear me out here. There's one particular deck that with the return of a temporary deck being Zombie Vice Bell, kind of unjustifiably got removed on uh, 
I mean, why? It, it, it didn't. It wasn't bad. There was support for the deck. It just got outvoted. So I was thinking, and I know. Hear me? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying, Daniel? Calm, calm down. Calm down. All right. All right. You said it. Yeah, it's in face-down defense position. Okay. Well, the cool thing about that is at least, you know, even if he summoned, like, another one or something, or he had, like, a floaters, he can only special summon once per turn, so... That wouldn't even matter. Attack. And game. Uh, so what did you about do in this duel? Uh, absolutely nothing. Just clogged my hand, like I said. It's not necessary. So, hear me out here. This video, I'm done dueling, because this video is already 15 minutes. But, and it really wasn't really entertaining. I was more focused on talking and my plan than the duel, because the duel was too easy. I, my opponent didn't even do much. Uh, anyway, what I was thinking about doing, if we decide, and if we decide to go through this convoluted plan of moving decks to here and moving that to there and doing this here and doing moving that, the return, and I know it hasn't even been off for that a long time, but the return of Ubound Zectors, because the Ubound Zectors was actually a pretty good deck. It was. Like I said, it wasn't bad. It didn't get kicked off because it didn't have synergy. Because it did have a little bit of synergy. It had more synergy than at least Shadal Bell, definitely. The only reason why I wanted to keep it on here, and I even said in the video, the only reason why I wanted to keep Shadal, Shadal Bell on here is because I wanted to see what I could do with the deck after it got hit on the ban list. So of course, you know, besides Super Poly, you really didn't get hit. So, uh, you know, I was thinking about doing that. Bringing back to Ubell and Zectors. There were supporters. I know there's a lot more. I know there's a lot more supporters for Ubell and Xyz than Ubell and Zectors now. I know that for sure. But, of course, you know, there were some supporters for Ubell and Zectors, and some people were sad to see it go. So, I was thinking about bringing it back. So, let me wrap up and bring it all together what I was playing. All right. Taking Trains, which is his own single player deck. The only reason that makes it single player is because. I ran Vandies and Skill Drain. Take Vandies and Skill Drain out, put in some Road Decrees and throw in some MSTs, move that to a tag deck, of course, one of the tag decks being removed. So I could put up a video being like, alright, which one don't you want to see anymore? Heraldix, Hermit Yokai, or the uh, Hundred Man. Hundred Man's pretty recent, but that one was kind of just made on the spot. So, you know, if you guys want to get that one, just take it off because it, it, it hasn't been going so well. It's been kind of shaky. You know, I kind of felt like maybe Trains would be a stronger deck. Definitely, they're stronger, more consistent deck. Than uh than uh, hundred man so I can go up and do that all right one of those decks will be moved trains will be taken as players that's fine all right I'm probably super lazy with the thumbnails so I'll probably just cross out Friday and put something else for the thumbnail because when it comes to thumbnails you guys know I have shitty thumbnails like uh uh you know this this channel this is all me baby this is all me so you know I don't have an editor or anything like that it's all me I record the video I edit the video I render the video I upload the video all of them wait what, what, what how many videos do I have I think like 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 2600 2600 videos for about two and a half years yeah that's a lot <laughs> anyway take one of those decks off as on daily duels there won't be on daily duels anymore move trains have friday open friday will be replaced with shadows that way we'd have tuesday teller nights wednesday clear play thursday burning bits friday shadows so the single decks they would all be uh Meta. They would all be the, the four top decks of the format. The four top decks, bam, there you go, on Daily Duel. You know, along with the other half of Daily Duels, which would be the tag partners, you know. So that's how that would go. And then, Vime Y, here on Vime Y, we'd have an open spot. I would just, boop, there you go. You Bell and Zectors. Oh, again, the return of You Bell and Zectors. Now, after the little short break, they just took a little hiatus. It wasn't them. They're not done, you know. You know, the revival, the dark sending, the being able to pop your bell, get the surge, get the summon effect, the ultimate nightmares, the blocking. Uh, I like your bell and I really do. So, and I, I was kind of sad to see it go. I thought, yeah, I thought that it was gonna stay in comparison to your know, I just didn't know that your bell and had so much support. You know, I thought it was a stronger deck, a more consistent deck. It pulled off stronger plays. It won more duels. But you know, apparently there's a lot of supporters for your bell and But it does not say that there aren't supporters for your bell and zectors. So that's my idea. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole plan, alright? Because I don't like shit all you bell. I don't. It's, it's not even fucking you bell. Did I, what did I do with you bell in that duel? I, what did I do? I fused with it with and made midrash and I drew it. I drew it and it was in my hand. I didn't use limit verse or call hunted or do anything with you bell. 
besides use it. It could, it could have been any dark. That could have been dark on dragon. It could have been any dark. But it was just happened to be Bell. There you go. Shit all your Bell. Look at the synergy. Like, no. 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 Your own sectors has more synergy than that. So. Um, also, I kind of... I don't like the... I, 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 like the, I like the separation of daily duels where half of it is tag partners. The other half of it is, hey, look. I'm using the meta. So if you want to see some meta on my channel, daily duels right there. Weekdays. Meta. Right? I'm fine with why. I'm chill. Unrated. Using fun, creative, awesome Yubel decks. Yubel, Shadow Yubel doesn't really fall in that category. It, it's meta. It's Shadow's. It's not Yubel. It's Shadow. I might as well just change this name. The only thing that... What, what was Shadow Yubel? It's just Shadow's being clogged up by Yubel. That's it. That's it. So if I move it to vitamin Y, look at all that free space. Look at all that room that I have to experiment with, with, um, with Shadal's with on, Vi on vitamin Y. You know, we can go the Deku Senka combo with the, with the, with the Chaos Dragons, baby Chaos Dragons. And, you know, we can go ahead and do maybe my idea with the, you know, the, the hidden armory. Go ahead and mill the top card off my deck. That would get its effect. Search me for my fusion card or search me for a snatch steal. Like I said, there, there are some possibilities we can do there on daily duels. But on here, I got, I have to run you bell. I have to, I have to run all of you bell, right? You know, it has to have a little bit of synergy, so the only synergy that, you know, Yubel has with the deck is besides being dark is Mass Chameleons. You know, I gotta throw my Limit Reverse in there because Limit Reverse is awesome, you know, and that, that that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it, you know. So, I just kind of feel like if we just move, uh, you know, Shadal's over to Daily Duels, there you go. You have half tag partners, half meta, Vitamin Y, all day, you know, all the time, just fun you bell decks that are strong, they're not weak, but they're strong, fun you bell decks on vitamin Y dealing with noobs and unrated. That that's it. That would be it. So there would be a sep there'd be a separation. It'd be it'd be like church and state. There would be just a separation. So there you go. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing it because I think it's an awesome idea. But you know, this ain't my channel, this is our channel, so I'd love to hear what you guys gotta say. And I think the the hardest thing would be to do was, would, would of course be to remove a deck as a tag deck on daily duels. That would that would probably be the hardest thing to do because I do like heraldics, I do like uh, I do like uh, Kakimira and Henry Man. They're still new. I'm not sure how you guys feel about that deck. Like I say, I, it's probably gonna be Henry Man because the other two have been just doing you know they've been here longer and they've been doing fine. You know, uh, you know besides. That pro giving me bad hands sometimes. I really had no complaints with those two decks. So, but you know, Hungry Man. Sometimes I'm just like, what? What is this? What is what is going on here? I don't like this. You know, there's been a couple times I've thought that. You know, so there we go. So if it is Hungry Man, then I guess trains would be up with Lunar and uh, Tago. So, you know, there you go. So anyway, uh, like I said, go ahead and tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode a lot more. I apologize it wasn't that interesting, but it's more interesting if you listen to what I'm talking about. So if you came here to watch the duel and you just have me on mute, then it's not the best video to be muting me and just watching the duel. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Archon email. Alright, thanks for watching.